welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today we're going to be doing a new crafting video and I also wanted to talk to you about a couple of really good deals I got on some crafting supplies that I wanted to tell you about. So today we had to go to the 99 cent store and I found this foam mounting tape. I have used it in my videos in the past. Um, I used it in this video that you can watch right over here. So if you haven't watched it yet, click over here to watch my video for the card that I made. It was a cupcake birthday card. So anyway, back to the foam mounting tape. I got this at the 99 cent store. It's 16 feet of extra sticky foam mounting tape. It's really awesome and it will work really great for all of your crafts. The next thing I got that I'm really excited to try are these Elmer's Craft Bond glue pens. So they have a precision tip glue, pen, glue pens that dry clear and dry strong. They are non-toxic, so you can use them with your photos as well. And they were only 99 cents. You get three glue pens for 99 cents. So I wanted to tell you about these two deals that I just found today at the 99 cent store. So if you're looking for anything like this, head over there and pick them up because that is a great deal. So today what we're going to be doing, we're going to be talking about some easy ways that you can buy pre-made tags or small little note cards and spruce them up a little bit without too much time. So if you're in a hurry and you are all of a sudden realize it's your friend's birthday and you've grabbed a gift for her but you forgot to pick up a card or a tag, this is a really quick and simple way to spruce up a tag spruce up a little teeny tiny card and add it to your package. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use some little Christmas cards. I bought these in a pack at Christmas time. They're just simple little cards that need something added to them in order to finish them off, but they're so cute and they're so tiny. I thought about what I could do to make these teeny tiny cards pop and make them really, really cute on a Christmas gift. So, I found in the kids section these little foam sticky pieces. They are for kids to make projects with. You can get, I got a whole bag of them. Um, this is only a portion of them, but I got a whole bag of them for I think $2.50 at Michael's. Enough to make about 50 different cards if I wanted. So there are all types of cute little things. There's a little gingerbread. There's a little fox that is holding a um, Christmas ornament. This little fox is so cute as well. I also have a little sign that says Happy Holidays. And like I said, they're foam, so they already pop out a little bit. And they have a little sticker that you remove from the back so easily. And it's self-sticking, so it doesn't take any glue or anything. It's really, really quick. So I am going to take this card here, um, as you can see, it already has a design in the middle to put something on it. And I'm just going to add this Happy Holidays here. Super cute, but to make it a little bit cuter, I'm going to add some pearls. I've used my pearls and my um, jewels in the past. I love them. They're really, really cute. They come on a string like this. You just cut them apart, peel and stick. They're already self-sticking and they are so easy to use. So I already have three little pearls right here that are pre-cut. I'm just going to remove them from the backing, put them at the bottom of my little tiny tag card, and voila. I hope you can see that. It just adds a little pop to it. But now I have a really cute card ready to be added to a package and it only took me a few seconds to put it together. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this little gingerbread guy and I'm gonna add him onto this card. And something else that I think would be really, really cute is this cute little polar bear. I'm gonna add him on to the front of this card. So the polar bear, I think, needs some little jewels on him as well to spruce him up a little bit. But I'm going to put him on like so. The card opens like this. 
It's really, really cute. And then I'm going to add for this one some jewels. I'm just going to put a large one, a small one, and a large one. So I have large on each side and a small one in the middle. So cute, so quick, so simple. These little cards came with matching envelopes that are so tiny and so cute. So all you have to do is put your card in the envelope and add it to your package, or if you want the card to show, you can just punch a hole in the top of your card and tie it on. So the other thing that you can get, make sure that you're always looking when you're at the dollar store for really cute things, because the other thing you can buy are, you can buy cute little things like these little, these are just little snowflakes that you can buy to tie onto the top of a package. So a little snowflake with your card would just make it pop even more. And these were at the dollar store. I got a pack of six of them for a dollar. So that's six packages I can make for only one dollar. So the next thing I want to show you, these are some little tags that I got in the dollar bin at Michael's. It came with 18 tags. They're called uh, Shabby Chic tags. They were one dollar for 18 tags. The, card, the tag is really cute on its own. However, I like to add something to my cards or my little tags just to make them pop a little. So I have some stickers that I got. I'm going to use one of these really cute little butterfly stickers. I got these as well, Michael's, on one of the end caps on clearance for 58 cents. It came with a pack of six. I've already used a couple of them, but I'm just going to take this little yellow butterfly and I'm going to put it in the middle of my tag, just like this. It's a foam butterfly and it has dimension to it. And then I'm going to take some little jewels that I have right here, some really cute little pearls again, and I'm just going to add them to the bottom of my tag. So as you can see, it just makes it a really, really cute, simple tag in no time at all. I try to keep some of these things on hand so that it's really quick and easy to put something together. If I have a birthday party or if I have um, someone coming over at Christmas time that I wasn't expecting to see and I just want to put a little bag of cookies together or something, I can add my cute little Happy Holidays card on and it's like I was expecting them and I have something nice for them already. So keep that in mind. There are all types of these really cute little recollection stickers. These are some pumpkins that I picked up on sale. And these are some really cute little penguins that I picked up on sale. I try to watch for them as soon as the season is over. So as soon as Halloween is over, they'll usually put their stuff on clearance the next day at Michael's. And same with Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so I try to pick them up when they're on clearance. And then I have them on hand for the following year. These cute little recollection stickers that have the foam on the back and they're self-sticking once you take the back off, um, generally I can find them for about 58 cents and I get six stickers in a pack. So that's a really good deal. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned some good tips today and I hope you come back next time to watch my next craft video. Um, make sure you take a look at all of our other videos as well. We're converting a really awesome van right now, and some of my crafting is coming in handy in that as well. I am sewing, and we're using uh, this foam mounting tape in some areas of our van as well. So keep that in mind because this is really awesome for household projects as well. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Make sure to leave comments down below if you have any questions or suggestions. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye.